Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone's uh, doing well today. Um, today we're going to tackle a new topic in math, all right, and that's going to be division with fractions. And we're going to start um, today with dividing whole numbers by fractions. So in this case, we have two divided by one third. Now, we previously did multiplication in fractions, and if you were good with that, if you didn't have a lot of problems with that, then you're going to do great with this um, because there's a lot of similarities. Multiplication is a really important part of dividing fractions. Um, so let's get to it. Um, the first thing I want you to kind of commit to memory is this phrase right here. Keep, change, flip, because that is the whole um, key to knowing how to do these types of problems. So let's look. We have 2 divided by 1 third equals something, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to keep the 2, but we're going to write it as a fraction, okay? So we're going to keep it. So the way we write it as a fraction is we put 2 over 1, right? <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this division side and we're going to change it. So if we keep the two, we change the division sign, and what we're gonna change it to is, yep, a multiplication sign, okay? So we have keep the two, change the division to multiplication, and finally now we're gonna get to, you guessed it, flip. And we're gonna take one third and we're gonna flip it upside down, and it's going to become, instead of one over three, three over one, okay? So now, it just becomes a very simple fraction multiplication problem. So we're gonna do two over one times three over one. So the way we do that is we multiply the numerator times the numerator. So two times three equals six, okay? And then the denominator times the denominator, one times one equals one. Hardest question of the year, okay? And, of course, 6 over 1 is equal to the whole number 6. So we can say that 2 divided by 1 third equals 6. All right? I hope this was clear. I hope you understood it. Um, if you didn't understand it, you can leave me a note either in Google Classroom or right here in the comments of the YouTube video. And we'll see what we can do to try and get it clarified. Um, but what I'm going to do now, you're going to have a few problems that are going to pop up on the screen and you are going to try those independently on your own. So remember, keep, change, flip. You keep the first number as is. You change the division sign to multiplication and then you flip the second number. Okay. All right. Good luck. I can't wait to hear how you do with this.